Hey folks, this is Chris Scotsman. This Mero SDK level authoring tutorial will provide an overview of zones and how you can add different components to them that track different enter and exit events, set activation permissions, and add gameplay elements to your level. Zones are trigger aggregators that manage enter and exit events. Zones with zone links track the player and any entities within their bounds as they move throughout the level. Zones with zone links are one of the most essential features in the level design toolkit for both performance and functionality. They also serve as the backbone of Scene Chunks, Mero's dynamic scene streaming system that truly unleashes the power and creativity of the level designer. Scene Chunks are an advanced feature that will be covered in much greater depth in their own tutorial. Zone Music and Zone Ambience are zone link items that listen for zone link events like starting music as the player enters an area. Zones with zone links convey events to their linked neighbors using primary and secondary event types. A primary zone link event occurs when a valid activator, like the player, enters or exits the current zone. When this happens, any zones that are linked to the primary zone experience a secondary event. These are often a chain of zones that are connected using line of sight considerations and among other things, help to ensure that enemies and items don't suddenly appear or disappear in front of the player as they move through the level. A separate video tutorial dedicated to zone links will cover the creating and linking process in deep detail. While the player is usually the activator for zone links, the Mero SDK provides a customizable permissions system that uses crates and bone tag data cards to define valid activators for a zone. As a refresher, crates make up the physical content of the Mero world namely levels, avatars, and spawnables. Spawnables make up a wide array of items, like enemies, destructible items, weapons, a sock monkey, a coffee mug, and so on. Data cards are digital content. Mero uses a bone tag data card system to provide references to things like the player or mono disks that reference audio data. You can add bone tag data cards and crates of any type to the activator tags list and then mix and match the two with AND or LOGIC to customize the activation permissions for a zone. Adding a zone events component to a zone will trigger an action or event when a valid entity or object enters or exits the zone's collider bound. This zone item has its own set of activation permissions. The player turning off the lights in the room, a force field lowering if the player is holding a specific item, or manually spawning an enemy from its crate spawner are but a few examples of actions that can be triggered by zone events. A detailed walkthrough of adding and using zone events is available in the zone events video tutorial. Zone load level is perhaps the most straightforward of the components that can be added to a zone. When activated, the current level will end and the level specified in the level field of the component will be loaded. The next recommended topic in the Mero SDK level authoring series is the zone creation and linking video that provides hands-on examples of adding zones with zone links to a level, covers ways to automate the zone creation process, and demonstrates the importance of following line of sight and other best practices with in-game examples. See you in the void.